How to test a windshield wiper motor. Um, if your windshield wipers are acting up or not working at all, um, then there's a couple of things you can check. If the wiper motor uh, is not working at all, then the first thing you'll want to do is check to make sure that you're getting voltage at the motor. Um, now, different vehicles have different uh, wiring schematics, so you'll, you'll want to check to see uh, what the wiring schematic is like on your particular vehicle. Uh, in the case of this vehicle, um, our wiper motor is mounted right here on the firewall. Uh, it's got a connector with multiple wires going in. Um, and if we remove that connector, I know that um, the ground pin is the upper left pin and the 12 volt positive for when the wipers are on the regular position is the lower middle pin. So I've set my digital multimeter to voltage and I'm going to take my, my probes and I'm going to put the ground probe in on the ground pin and the positive probe on the positive pin and we're getting 11.88 uh, volts which is pretty darn close to 12 volts so we know that we're getting voltage up to the motor. Um, there's a good indication that this motor is likely um, not functioning. Uh, it could be that it just needs to be lubricated. The, the gearbox is, is full of grease and uh, the grease hardens over time. So uh, occasionally you can remove the uh, plate from this, uh, clean out the old grease, refill it um, with a, a good multi-purpose grease or a white lithium grease. Uh, and that might be all it takes. Uh, it might need to be replaced completely. If you're not getting 12 volts at the connector, um, then you might have a blown fuse, um, you might have a problem with the switch, uh, the wiper switch itself, or you might have an issue with the wiring between the switch and the connector. Uh, the fuse is obviously the easiest thing to check, uh, and then the switch, uh, and then finally tracing the wiring to see if you have a, a short or an open wire. Uh, one last thing to, to consider is that some wiper motors are grounded through their mounting bolts, um, and if that's the case, you want to make sure that you have a good uh, solid continuity between the mounting bracket of the motor and the chassis of the vehicle. If that ground connection is uh, corroded or broken, um, then it will keep the motor from running. And the easiest way to test that, again, is with your multimeter. Uh, simply switch it to uh, resistance or ohms, uh, put one lead on the chassis and one lead on the wiper motor and you should get good continuity between the two. Now this particular vehicle has a separate ground wire so it doesn't need that, um, but that's just something to bear in mind if you're having trouble with a ground related issue on your wiper motor.